Welcome to Ask Sean, where I explore all sorts of questions about life, relationships, and being human. I'm Sean Slevin, a licensed professional counselor and a licensed marriage and family therapist. And if you have a question for me, you can submit that anonymously at www.askshawn.org. So in this video, I'm going to explore a question that comes up in lots of variations uh, over the years in my work and, and comes up in personal life too. Um, and I, I'm kind of thinking of framing this a bit provocatively, uh, although it, it in some ways is a, is a bit of a quote too of, of what uh, kind of folks can tend to ask, which is this question of, am I selfish for hating my in-laws? Am I selfish for hating my in-laws? Now, we could substitute a couple of different things here, right? Like, you know, it could be a different family member or a friend or, um, uh, you know, the opposite political party that we support. Um, and for selfish, we could, you know, say, you know, am I being a bad person? Am I um, being unhealthy? Like, is it okay for me to hate someone or to strongly dislike them? Or, um, so yeah, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of different combinations, you know, of, of, of things here. Um, but this is particularly difficult, you know, for us as humans when, when we feel it, it, emotions in the really strong and, and negative range, right? Uh, and especially we feel in a conflict or tend to feel conflict uh, when it's around uh, or directed towards somebody that we know on some level, well, in theory, I should like this person or love them or get along with them. And yet I'm having, you know, these really intense negative feelings about them and towards them. Uh, and, you know, and so I think the, the in-law dynamic is interesting because, um, and this is part of one of the things that, you know, often comes up when I'm like working with a client around something like this is, is if not immediately at some point they recognize okay this also puts my partner in a really difficult spot right like this is their family and i'm having these really you know kind of kind of awful feelings about them and towards them um and potentially voicing them you know to my partner and so you know that's gosh you know that feels unfair to my partner and like what do i do with that and yet these are my feelings and um and so there's also some questions in there too about like how much of this is constructive to share, um, but also that's in tension with, you know, we don't want to pretend, um, but these can be really, really hurtful words. Uh, I mean, I've had experiences in life of, uh, you know, having someone tell me they hate me and that hurts. Um, that, that doesn't, we don't, it's, we don't, we don't forget those things, right? Um, and I've also had experiences where I have felt hate for people um, which just as an aside, like, I don't think that's not a place to stay or to get stuck. Um, but that's, you know, I've had those emotions. Um, so yeah, so I want to explore this, uh, and, 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 and kind of, and maybe kind of multiple angles here. Um, but one, I guess maybe potential through line is just how do we distinguish between sort of a healthy path with this versus an unhealthy or, you know, kind of using that selfish, you know, kind of category, like where, where am I being selfish with this? And, 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 and where am I trying to move towards something good, albeit in a pretty messy way? Um, so, and I think there's, cause I think it's, it's easy to err in on either side here. Right. Um, and, I mean, I think, you know, there's different pockets of our culture that air different ways uh, on this. So, you know, on the one hand, right, you know, we could err on the side of, um, you know, well, we shouldn't hate people, um, you know, whether you're coming from like just sort of a general human decency category there or coming from some kind of religious context, you know, it's, it's like, uh, you know, like Jesus said to love your enemies, right? Um, and so it's like, well, I shouldn't hate them. So I just should suck it up. I should just stuff this. I should just suppress it. Um, and that can come from, again, sort of, there can be, there's, a, there is a something to pay attention to there, of, right? Okay, I'm, I am called to, to love my enemies, right? In terms of, you know, for me, I'm, I come from a Christian context, so that's part of my frame, right? Um, 
so there is something important there, you know, there, and I think we could make an appeal to kind of some general human ethics and, you know, and decency that, you know, hating our fellow humans isn't a good thing. And yet suppressing this isn't going to work, you know, like that energy is going to go somewhere. It's going to metastasize, you know, into something worse. Um, so suppression isn't going to work. Uh, I mean, if you've tried to suppress emotions like this for any length of time, I think you've found that that, that ends up coming out sideways somehow or usually explosively and really destructively. So then, okay, well, what about the other extreme, right? Like, um, okay, well, these are my emotions. And so the world just, you know, fucking needs to deal with it, you know? Like, I hate these people or I think they're disgusting or they're stupid or whatever our, you know, ugly pejorative feelings are right um and so we could you know we could err on the side of like well just i'm just being true to myself and you know this is just how it is and so tough shit you know like um you know and that is trying to hearken to a bit of truth as well and that um we do need to somehow do something with and honor the feelings we're having right i mean that's kind of part of what i'm getting at and saying that suppression isn't going to work um and yet just kind of being like, I'm just going to give myself over to my hate. Like, it's like, well, that, that doesn't seem like that's the right answer either. Um, I mean, I'm, <laughs> if you'll pardon a little goofiness here. I mean, if you watch this channel regularly, then you, you do pardon a fair bit of goofiness. I mean, I'm thinking of, uh, you know, Emperor Palpatine and Luke Skywalker and the original Star Wars trilogy. And, you know, and he's like, give in to your hate. Join the dark side. <laughs> You know, so it's like, it's like, well, that's, that seems suspicious. We probably shouldn't. <laughs> if we're going a route that sounds like, you know, kind of the preeminent, you know, um, bad guy, you know, in the, in the Star Wars movies, it's like, mm, should probably pause and reevaluate, right? Um, you know, this, <laughs> oh man, anyways, I won't, I won't riff further on, uh, <laughs> emperor palpatine impressions but um so yeah so what do we do right like what's the path forward um so one of the things i mean I, I i've had some conversations with some clients recently about different variations of all of this right uh and and one of the things i was talking with them about is part of what determines is this is this become a, a, a selfish act or is it an attempt to move towards healthiness is really what do we do with it? Like, as in, where do I go with this? <coughs> if I suppress or if I just give myself over to it and say, well, this is what I feel and end of story and I do nothing else with it, Either of those is an avoidance. Either of those paths is an avoidance of taking responsibility for my emotions and taking responsibility for helping my emotions to move through and to transform. Um, yeah, I mean, because it's like, especially, you know, these, these, you know, really negative emotions that are attacking kind of the value or worth of our fellow humans. Like those are, those are red flags. Now your emotions are your emotions. So it's like, you can't like make yourself not have them. But, but what I mean by red flags is like, it's not going to be healthy for me to get stuck there. Um, I may feel really horrible things towards my fellow humans at points. My responsibility and what keeps this from getting keeps me from getting stuck in selfishness or any other kind of you know sort of unhealthy whatever cat you know adjective we want to use. What keeps me from getting stuck there is if I am choosing to say, okay, I have to make sense of this and I have to to work with this and dig into this to like get at the emotions that are underneath, like uh, these feelings that are calling into question the value and worth of my fellow humans, which is different than my having significant dislike about someone's behavior. Like it is a different thing and a different feeling and state psychologically and a different thing relationally for me to say, I really hate that behavior um, versus to say, I hate you as a person. Like the, the latter, to hate someone as a person 
is really is is I want to say probably always, although, you know, there can be exceptions, but but is highly likely that that's veering into very shaming kind of territory. You know, we're we're now we're now saying, oh, there's different worth of human beings. And that's yeah, that's just that's never good. Um, Like because everybody has worth, like everyone is priceless. You know, we all have different gifts. We all have different things we bring to the world and we're all going to contribute to the world in different ways. And we're all going to be difficult for the world in different ways. Right. Um, so like there are all sorts of differences, but those are not differences of worth, right? Like, so, um, and yet in places of intense pain and in places where our own wounding is getting touched somehow, um, we can be really tempted towards and we can veer into these places where the only thing, the only way to feel, to, to, to express something that feels kind of true is to, is these kind of awful, like, hatred, contempt, you know, disgust, you know, kinds of feelings. And yet that cannot, we cannot let that be the end of the story in terms of like, okay, well, that's just what I feel. And that's just, that's all I'm going to do with it. That is that then, that then does become selfishness, selfish in the sense, selfishness and laziness, because it's because I'm choosing to not do my work. I'm choosing to not investigate. Why do I feel this intensely? Um, and I don't mean why as in that I shouldn't have feelings. Like there are reasons that I feel so intensely, but I need to, I need to understand those. I need to make sense of those. I need to get curious about that. Like I need to, in a sense, look my hatred in the face and be like, tell me what the hell's going on here. And I don't mean that in a like, you know, shaming to myself way, but like, okay, you know, hatred, like we, well, we really fucking hate this person you know, family member, political person, whatever the heck it is, right? Like, why? Like, I want to know why. And we got to stay with that and stay with that until we start to get to something, some emotion that is more textured and nuanced than just variations on, well, they're stupid, right? Because it's like, okay, well, I'm, that's not getting very deep. And if I stop there, I'm being lazy and I'm being selfish. I'm saying, yeah, it's not, my fellow humans aren't worth um, the effort. And frankly, I'm not worth the effort of knowing more, myself more deeply here and trying to help this work through and heal. Um, Because again, you know, thinking about the hate, hatred of a person versus a hatred of an action, like we could work through whatever's driving this and get to a place where it's like, okay, I don't actually hate them as a person. I don't, I don't may not like them like, and that's okay. We're not going to like everybody. Right. But they have value. uh, Even if it's hard for me to grasp even. Right. Um, And I may still dislike or even hate their actions or some of their choices. Be like, I just do not agree with those choices. Um, You know, I mean, like, I'm going to hate the choices of somebody who is abusing a fellow human. I hate those choices. And yet, even the abuser still somehow has value as, as a human being, even though they are doing awful things. And they need to be held accountable for those awful things, right? Like, Having value as a human being doesn't mean we're off the hook in terms of responsibility. Like, and in fact, when we let people off the hook, we devalue them. Or say you're not worth you're not worth treating as a human being who actually needs to take responsibility for themselves. Um, you know, so that's that's part of the you know when when we enable when we turn a blind eye, that dehumanizes everybody. Um, so yeah, so I you know there can be so many variations under the surface here, right? Like so this is where um yeah, I mean I would love I would love for folks to, you know, to write in with some anonymous, you know, particular stories about, you know, kind of different variations of this because it's like you know, you could be feeling, you know, hatred, disgust, contempt, you know, all these really intense, you know, kind of ugly feelings, right? You know, sort of um you know, calling into question the value of, you know, your fellow human, you could be feeling these um, for just a host of different reasons. But but some broad categories here is that usually there's going to be some kind of sorrow, some kind of suffering um, that's a mixture of present and past. Um, so there's going to be something about the present and whatever the dynamic is that's perceived or experienced with, you know, with the, the, who the object is of our hatred. Um, so something about present dynamics, um, that is also echoing to past pain that has not been dealt with. 
And so this is, again, part of why we need to dig into this. Because if we just stop and just are, you know, kind of content to, to hate somebody, we are missing out on our healing. Like, I care about the relational dynamic, and I would like to see that healed for people, right? But in some ways, even more so, like, I want the stuff inside of you to get healed, right? Like, and out of that then will flow the possibility that relationship dynamics can at least be better. You know, you may, may not ever be great because there's all sorts of complexities there, right? Um, but I want, I want each of us to not be stuck and sort of imprisoned by past pain that we aren't dealing with, right? Like... So yeah, so that's that's in some ways sort of the hidden gift from for, that comes from like these really intense, ugly emotions is that they're telling us like, holy shit, like I've got some things I got to deal with because if I'm feeling this strong, this intense, this vitriolic, right, towards my fellow human, then there is really big pain inside of me that has not been addressed, that is crying out for my healing, that is saying, fucking listen to me. <laughs> and it's, you know, and it's it's being directed at, you know, another person and, you know, in, in you know, cru potentially cruel, dehumanizing ways. Um, and, it, and it may partly relate to dynamics with them, but my experience, it almost always has some historical component. Um, partly just because, I mean, in much of life, you know, it's layers of stuff, right? Like, it, I mean, I mean, there can be something that happens so catastrophically from another human that it's like, actually, everything I'm feeling is entirely about this moment. Um, I'll even then, you know, we're still going to be drawing from some kind of history, right? Because um, that's the nature of things. We, you know, we're patterned creatures. Um, but, um, but yeah, I think most of the time for most of us, like it's like, well, there's there's some amount of history here. And look, it doesn't really matter ultimately. The point is, I gotta deal with the pain, right? Because that's the thing, is like if I just if I just stop at hating somebody and just like, oh, I'm just gonna hate them forever, like that is gonna poison me. That is gonna bleed over into more and more places in my soul. And I'm gonna become bitter and hard and ugly and I'm gonna it's gonna I'll kill all my relationships eventually I mean that's just it's like a cancer and so you know this doesn't mean that I'm gonna like like or get along with everybody right like if I do my if I'm doing my inner work but but I the goal is to work towards some kind of peace and so people who have hurt me deeply who I at times have have felt the feelings and have said the, the words though no not to them thankfully um, but in, in the context of therapy of, I hate them and I hate what they did to me. And I won't go all into the full intensity of the emotion of that, but, uh, in this, you know, here in this video, but like I needed, I needed to say those things and I needed to be honest about how I felt as a stepping stone to the working through. If I had stopped there, then that turns into poison. If I can let it out in, a, in, in the appropriate context and be honest about, I do feel this ugly feeling and I feel ashamed about it and I feel horrible because you shouldn't feel that about people and you know all, you know, all these kinds of ways, all these conflicted things, right? But I can let myself be honest. If I do feel that, that then became a way and can, be, can become a way for each of us to then get at what's underneath of it. Like, well, why do I, you know, why I feel so strongly, why I feel so ugly, why that, those are the words and the feelings that had to come out in that moment. Um, and what that does is this gradually sort of purifies the emotion and it strips away these, you know, these things that can, you know, can be dehumanizing towards our fellow humans and gets down to the more, more pure, like less diluted, um, less corrupted, if you will, feelings of just our sorrow of like my deep, my deep hurt and sadness, you know, for the little boy in me who has, has suffered various things, uh, that he ought not to have suffered, um, through action and the actions and inactions of others um, and to be able to forgive which isn't the same thing as like uh, absolving other people or something or saying it didn't matter but forgiveness is so that I can move on so that I can find some peace so that you can find some peace um, I've done other videos about forgiveness and so you can you can look those up on my website or on YouTube um, I can't remember which 
which ones are on which location. Um, but, um, but yeah, it's like I, we, I, each of us, we have to, we are invited to, we are called to, to face whatever the original pain is. Um, and to be able to get clarity on like, what am I actually upset with this present person about? And there may be things that, you know, I am actually upset with them about. And what is, and what is pain from the past? Um, and being with both in the different ways that is needed. Um, and if I am committed to that, no matter how long it takes, no matter how bumpy the ride, right? Like, so thinking about sort of the, you know, kind of the in-law scenario, you know, like, um, you know, you might have to, you know, just not not be at family gatherings for a bit while you're in an intense place, right? So that you don't take this out on other people, you know, or you might have to be like, I'm just going to be there for a little bit and then I got to go. Um, and as long as that is driven by um, trying to like take responsibility for your stuff and deal with it as opposed to I'm just trying to avoid and I'm just like, you know, not actually going to address stuff. As long as it's driven by like, I'm actually, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be respectful of others as, a, as best I can. And I'm trying to like work through this stuff that is getting really fucking intense. Um, then that's a good thing. You know, is it going to be awkward? Is it going to be messy relationally? Yeah, it's going to be all those things. Um, I mean, just, that's just the nature of human beings, you know, being in community and connection and connection and relationship with one another. Um, and there can be things to apologize for even along the way, right? Cause you're not going to do it perfect. Um, but yeah, but if you stay committed to, okay, I'm going to keep working with this. I'm not just going to be content to and be lazy to like, oh, well, you know, I just fucking hate people and that's just the way it is. I'm mean, like, no, I'm going to keep dealing with, like grappling with what is this about and what's the pain that drives it. And I'm not going to shame myself for my feelings, but I'm also not going to give myself a pass to just like take my feelings out on people. Um, and I guess, yeah, that, and that's, and I kind of hinted at this earlier, but like be really cautious about like, how much and, and, and what what you say to whom um, because it's we can't we can't forget these kinds of things when they've been said to to us you know like it's it's hard to take these things back and yet some of these things need to be said out loud but you need to have the right context right you know and so whether that is a friend who can who is able to you know is able and willing to be that in a sounding board of that something that intense and who isn't going to like take sides and be like yeah they're fucking stupid you know but just to be like yeah I hear you. You hate them and you are upset. You know, it's going to hold space for it without like, you know, condoning, um, you know, or something like a therapist, right? Therapist, you know, kind of um, mentor, um, you know, uh, religious leader. Um, but basically, it, whatever the category is, that individual has to have the capacity to hold, to hold space for this kind of emotion, which means they have to have been in grappling with these kinds of emotions themselves. It doesn't mean the exact wording of the emotions. It's about the intensity. Um, and so this is why I'm always telling counselors, if you want to, if you want to be effective, you got to do your own fucking work. You got to, you got to be in therapy or something like therapy. You got to be facing your own demons. You got to be ch turning towards the places that you're afraid to turn towards because otherwise clients are going to need to go somewhere and you're going to be like, uh, let's just kind of like scoot around that. Like, here's a book to read, like, <laughs> which books are great, but it's like, we need a human being to help us be with this shit. You know, like, uh, Yeah. We need someone who who has the capacity to hold space for what we are struggling ourselves to like fully be with. Um, so yeah, if we stay committed to this, then that is going to guard us from getting stuck in a selfishness, stuck in a like I'm just doubling down on being an asshole or whatever, you know, like um, like. And again, you know, we're we're not going to do it perfectly. It's going to be ugly. Um, but we will find our way towards a better place and potentially even, you know, better relationship with, you know, whoever is, you know, the object of our, you know, our hatred. Um, may, maybe never a great relationship. It just depends. I mean, there's so many, so many variables there, right? Like, so, and I'm not saying you have to like them. That's, that isn't actually the goal. The goal is, can I get to a place where I don't feel all of this intense charge, right? And that actually really is possible. Like, it's, it's fucking amazing how possible it is. Like, is it really hard work? It's a ton of work. It's like, I mean, in my own life, it has been so much work, so much therapy, so many tears, so many fucking rants and raging, you know, with my therapist and whatnot. Um, but I've gotten to places in, in a number of relationships, um, family relationships and like, 
um, you know, friendships that really hurt me and, um, yeah, just very experienced and former mentors, um, even a former counselor who like really wounded me. Um, like I've gotten to a place with like, with all of these where like, there's a, there's a decent degree of peace, not perfect peace. You know, I'm still working through stuff. Um, I've got things in this present week that has come up family wise that I'm like trying to process through and mix feelings about and things that are good and encouraging and things that are like that I've I've cried over um but I don't feel haunted like I once did um and I feel lighter and there's a lot more space inside of me um and I can you know think about uh various individuals or be in relationship with various individuals in ways that I couldn't before and not have like just like all this stuff going on inside um So yeah, so this is the invitation, you know, if you watch this video because you're like, oh yeah, I'm hating my in-laws or <laughs> I'm hating somebody and grappling with, you know, feeling like, well, I don't, I don't want to be selfish, but I don't know, what to, don't know what to do with my feelings. You know, the invitation here is to turn towards those feelings um, and try to walk with them and try to help them, try to help them you know, get underneath, you know, what the kind of those surface level, you know, intense, intense feelings. Um, so yeah, I hope that you have somebody in your life or that you find somebody who can walk with you in this, because we, this, this is something that's really, really difficult to do alone, unless you have had a lot of good experience of somebody walking with you and you've been able to internalize that. Like I can do a fair amount of this on my own, but I still need my helpers at my edges. It's like, I still really want another human being there who can hold space for me and like, um, you know, kind of like a physical therapist that can lean like on their shoulders, like I'm trying to put more weight on a leg or something that's, you know, been injured and is, you know, getting stronger. Um, so yeah, find somebody, you know, who can walk with you. Um, there is a link. Um, I don't often mention this in my videos, but it's, it's, I always put it in the, de in the description. Um, but there's a link, I think on the, my YouTube profile homepage and, and there, um, and it, there'll be in the video description about um, how to choose a therapist. Uh, this is a like post or whatever I wrote um, that's on my website. And it just kind of walks you through a process of, um, yeah, just trying to evaluate if someone's a good fit. Um, so if you're in the process of trying to find someone, I encourage you to use that. Um, and yeah, don't let yourself, don't settle for just hating someone. Like, like really try to get underneath that to the pain and to help that heal and to help, help your past you know, the past parts of you heal um, and to help your present and your future to be better. Um, like not just better in terms of be a better person. Um, I mean, it's good to be a better person, but but I mean, be better in, in terms of more whole, more healthy, more at peace, uh, more free, because uh, it really is possible. Uh, hard, harder than we think we can bear, but but possible. Um, like we, we humans are, are like so amazing in terms of what we're capable of. Um, so, <sighs> well, until next time, peace be with you.